Today is October 18, 2023. One day I'll figure out how to trade. But today, I just realized something. I traded the whole day without using proper setup. Really, I, I, I looked at it and I said, oh, that looks like, uh, that looks like it might go down. Might go down. So I, I, I traded and then of course I lost. And then I said to myself, you know, that might go up. And uh, I traded and then it went down. And then I did that all day. And then, and then I said, oh, you know, I think that's gonna, that might go up even further. And then it started to drip, 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 drip. It did a slow curve too. It didn't go really fast, it just went slow. So it, it went slow, which meant that there was a major trend reversal that was occurring. And I didn't see that and I allowed it to occur and then all, all of a sudden it broke down and started to come, come, come crashing down. So there were a lot of places that I could have I could have taken advantage of to figure out how to how to properly trade and yet I forgot all of that. How could I forget about these things? Hmm. So I need to I need to See, if I keep practicing each and every day of the things that I know and utilize it, then I will not be, then, then, then the market will not broadside me. This is something that is critical. It's like, it's like if I'm riding a bicycle, how am I, how am I able to keep certain information uh, up front to be aware of what's going on and then utilize that information in every, day, every trading situation? Every trading situation requires uh, these things that I need to be constantly drilled into. This is, I, I suppose it's something, it's, it's very, very similar to what uh, baseball uh, hitters do. They get to the mound, they get into a certain position, they have a, a certain criteria for a specific bat that they need to have, and it has to be at that situation. And then for a specific uh, pitcher, then they have specific response to how it's going to uh, uh, to be, to, to be uh, batted and also at a specific stadium what is the distance between the um, home run home run wall to where the plate is okay and so and also how do I keep myself in tip-top shape uh, by perhaps practicing if I don't practice on a Saturday a Saturday and Friday or some of the other days then it is possible that I'm not going to be uh, Oh, so what I need to do, what I need to do is create a checklist. I need to create a checklist one by one, sequentially, and then practice that checklist over and over again. Okay, that's what I need to, in order for me to be consistent, in order for me to be consistent, I have to go through a regular sequence of things that occurs for me to make the trades and when I see those regular things that occur on a sequential basis then then I will have enough practice to trade properly and at this time expecting any uh, expecting money to be made in the market is essentially it's gambling in itself so what I need to do is there's there are, there's a few things that I need to be concretely aware of the first thing is, the first thing is, what's my stop loss? That's the first thing. Okay. Second is, what's the setup? Okay. Third, okay, so where do we get out? So that's the number three things that I need to do. Every trade needs to have this. Every trade has to have these things. If I don't have these things, then I cannot trade because all of those things are critical. Entry, reason for entry, okay, reason for entry. Where do I get out on the top side or the bottom side? Those are the three primary things that I need to be constantly aware of. I have to be I have to be intimately familiar with those three things. Where do I get out? 
when I'm lost and where do I get out when I'm winning? And then what's the reason for entry? Okay? And what's the reason for exit? Okay, that goes hand in hand with entry. Okay, so there are, there are four things that I need to be constantly aware of, constantly, which is what's the reason for entry? What's the reason for exit? And what's the stop loss? And what's the, what's the uh, stop limit? Stop limit goes hand in hand with, stop limit goes hand in hand with the, the reason for exit. Because when there's a reason for exit, then that's it. Because it is not relying on PNL. Okay, so now I go back to the three things that I need to do, okay? The three things are, okay. All right, that's it. Re let me repeat this. Why, what's the setup that I'm entering in? What's the stop loss? And what's the reason for exit? Don't even worry about what the limit order is. What's the reason for exit? Is it the limit order or is it the status setup that's telling me? So those are the four things that I need to be constantly be drilled into my mind. It needs to be constantly bombarded. It needs to be bombarded. Back then, there was this, uh, the chimp, okay, that was in me. Now, it has evolved into a Neanderthal, okay? It has evolved. Neanderthal is actually a evolutionary step above a chimp so there seems to be a progression now I'm thinking more in terms of a Neanderthal now so how do I progress from this remember that reason for entry what's the stop loss and what's the reason for exit okay that's it <coughs> okay again what's the reason for entry what's the stop loss and what's the reason for exit is it the limit order or is it the setup? Those three things. Got it? Just, just, just burn it into the mind. Burn it into your heart. 